I felt um, that I'd come home in many ways. I never felt a stranger. I never felt myself to be an outsider, um, especially after I was initiated into the Vodun in Haiti. I felt that these are people that I know, but I should know more about. And it was always a, a thing of questing, whether it was a meal at somebody's house and different food that I wanted to know about and how to make it, or whether it was um, going to a, a ceremony. I felt I belong here. I didn't feel that I wanted to come back and stay forever, but I felt that somewhere or another was, were bridges and ties that I was destined to cross. I wanted to bring those people more into our lives. I wanted to bring them into uh, into the whole thing of being black. And, and uh, I wanted them to know about Africa, of course, but I wanted them to know about North America, too. And there was seems to have been a very strong spiritual connection. Mm -hmm. There was. There was, without doubt. I felt comfortable uh, spiritually. I felt I'd like to know why they uh, worship this or that God and who that God is. I didn't have to worship that God, but I had to um, just had to know it. That's all. I just wanted to know. And the um, interesting thing is they accepted that. They accepted my curiosity, my interest, my desire to know and my willingness to go through whatever they went through in terms of initiation, for instance, my, my willingness and eagerness to be initiated into their cults was important to them. And of course, in the other island, like for instance in Jamaica, with the Maroon people, it was just a matter of, uh, they'd never had anyone, anyone from the outside spend the night. First of it had been there in the day, but no one had ever <laughs> spent the night, and I, I was, that was my uh, journey to Akambang, my, my stay with them. So it was my interest in being a part of them that made them open up to me. And this has followed me my entire life. With all of this wonderful material, um, was it very clear to you then exactly what you were going to do with it and how no. you were going to know? I didn't know. No, I didn't. I wasn't sure that I wouldn't uh, lean more heavily on the academic side. I still had that thing of because of my brother and because it, it was a little snobbish, I guess, too. The thing of I ought to be a better scholar. Then it dawned on me after many years that I was not only a scholar, I was an innovator. And that gave me such a, really, it was like a whole new life to know that I had brought things to this point. And that's when I uh, think I began to enjoy my mature life. I really did and I still do. It's, it's good to know that something needed to be done and that you did it. And with me, it was good to know that these people needed to know more about themselves and, and the world needed to know more about them. And those things I was able to do, and I felt very accomplished in, in doing them.